So again, there it is, guys. We got the Notorious as well. Of course, I line these three up. It's special because of the main event, which is the Outcast EXP 6S, ready to run, which I'm totally stoked and excited for, even though I already had to send one back because the ESC didn't work, and, it, and uh, I believe that when you get a car out of the box, especially something like this, that a lot of people, a regular hobbyist, would uh, look to as a go-to car because they don't want to have to fix anything or anything like that, and it's just an uh, awesome performer, especially on Success. Success complements it so well that it just, uh, that's where it needs to be, and because you got some Success vehicles out there that are the sweet spots the 4S and it's like ah, I still want to put a success in it but that's just I guess life so you got the main event the outcast and the fair to we have the V5 Notorious that's what that is and then we have the V4 Notorious with the Proline tires because again they help the car to perform like the Jambo and the Dementor which are major stunt jobs and I'm just going to take these off to show you the difference between the V4 and the uh, V5. They came out with a V5 uh, Notorious, but I don't. Uh, but they didn't come out with a V5 Outcast or Italian. And the reason being is there's your V5, except they went EXP style on it, and that's why they did that. Every other car got pumped up to a V5, the crate and whatnot. Um, it's no surprise because the Italian didn't get the upgrade and the Outcast didn't get the upgrade. But these cars did. I put the Morocco ESC and the Creighton V4. And it's a very powerful ESC, so I figured it would help with the fact that the car is a little, not a little bit, but it's heavier than the Corrales. And, uh, and then I, uh, I took its 185. BLX amp out and I put it in the Morocco and the Morocco seems like it has way more power because evidently that BLX was designed for it and it's absolutely absurd so it really worked out and uh, that's great so again we can see that the differences are is that this, we've got Spectrum products we've got the 150 amp Spectrum ESC um, same things as this and then we'll also open this up just to take a look as you can see, even though it looks a little more brandy new, um, we've got the same exact stuff except it's an upgraded EXP, which is for me totally awesome. And then we have this again, and this is the same thing because it's the V5 Notorious. They never upgraded the Outcast because again they made that. And then of course, according to this, well compared to this, this is the V5. Notorious, and this is the V4. And as you can see, the difference is we got the cow colored engine, which of course that looks cooler, but I'm like performance. And these things, I think, have been pretty decent to a lot of people. They get hotter than hell, that one does too. And then we got the old Spectrum 185 amp, which is fine by me. It's definitely not an issue. So, as I was saying, there's the cars, and everybody, if you guys are ready, match it. Keep looking. Isn't that cool? Just do that. I'm not going to do that because this is it right here. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. And, man, however, we can switch these ones around if you want to. How's that look? Put it in skinny tires again. They almost look identical. And then we have the blue one, the big old tires. Now that looks actually pretty nice, man. I think that looks good. What do you think? Yeah. Like with those tires, I think I'm gonna go with the blue body on this. I, this is a brand new body that I bought. I have another blue body that came with it. It's stickered up and perfect the way I want it. This one I just kept, I like to keep it new or if I'm not gonna bash, I just drive it around like that. So there it is, you guys, all three of them. And what else more can I say other than the fact that I'm totally stoked? What do you guys think, Cat? What do you think of that uh, Outcast success that we just unboxed compared to all the other cars that I have? Sanazi. Sanazi. That's the first words that come to your mind. 
Now, why do you think it's snazzy compared to all the other cars? Well, it hasn't banged up yet for one. Well, I don't think, well, it's an EXP, so it's stronger than the one right next to it, the left, the other black one that looks just like it. Except for, if you notice, the windows are a little sticker different. Yeah. This one doesn't have the red outline on the windshield right first, and that one does. Ah. Yeah, so we got differences there. And also, it, I think it's because it's an outcast, and they had and the notorious body is different. So, of course, it would look different. So that's actually not surprising. But one thing I will notice, too, is that because it's a different body, what are you going to point out? That on the grill... It has those X's, well, the other ones don't, too. Right, but well, what I'm saying is that's, I would expect that because this is the Notorious and that's an outcast. So it's going to have different stickering, don't you think? That's kind of normal. But I will say that because of that, they did go a step further, which is that the hood of the outcast looks yeah, more they, like a truck. Yeah, it has a more... A Chevy, you know what I mean? And I think that that's why I prefer this body better because of the front. I prefer this older, I guess this would be an older style where this would be a New Ford F-150. You know, let me put your, even though you're standing six foot something, you know, I'm still gonna put my grill in your face type of car. So, you know what I mean? So again guys, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, check out what we're doing because uh, we're having a lot of fun and we are going to upgrade some things and just to be able to see what's worth the money, what isn't worth the money, and how much fun can we have with these cars. So, there it is, guys. Have a great night, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.